<clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Steve with FTechD. Today I'll be doing a basic program in C++, a Hello World program. Um, I'll be using Dev. Uh, it's actually a free software you can get online. Um, it's, it's good for beginners since you can actually just hit the page button and start actually writing code and you can actually use it. Um, a lot of programs like Visual Studios, you, you actually have to set up a project file. Um, so this kind of useful when you first start out. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start and include if I already know that I'm going to be using a file um, it's best sometimes it's included right at the top. Be the ISO stream. It's in and out. It allows me to write words to the screen or um, write back to the program. And I'll be using a namespace and I wouldn't worry exactly too much with the namespace um, just because it's you'll, you'll learn more about it later on um, and you have to do the STD and this is for standard I'll just get used to just putting that there for now until you get further on in your skill level if this is the first time um, I'm going to start an int main this is what actually the uh, compiler the program will start inside here and will run down so even though you got stuff outside this is what the actual program looks for to run and since it's an int for integer it needs to return something so re and return zero all right so we should have a basic program so we hit right here let's compile and run and you save it to wherever you want to save it um, Oh, my ISO stream was messed up. Put N instead of M. So let's try that again. And if you saw that flash, that was the program running and then pretty much stopping right after um, closing itself out. So I tend to do a system pause. This allows me to uh, pretty much stop the program so I can see what's going on. Kind of helpful. Um, just put it in system pause. And make sure you do the semicolons because the semicolons right here end the line. Say that this is done. Because sometimes you'll write a few lines and you'll want that semicolon so that you know it's all connected. So that just helps to let the compiler know when it stops. So when I hit it this time, now it stopped. Now I have a basic window and it's waiting for me to push enter. And that's what that system pause did. So let's get right to it. <clears throat> We're going to do a C out. This is going to send it to the actual window that we just made. And we're going to say, um, hello world. All right. Let's get some of uh, these guys in there. All right. And you want to put it inside these quotations because that lets it know that this is going to go to the screen. It has to be inside. It has to be closed. And then we want to do an end line. And actually, I'm not going to end the line yet. I'm going to show you how you can do the other thing. So I want something else to go to the screen. And after this whole world, I'm going to do a backslash n. This right here is actually saying that it's it's enter. So it'll say they'll say hello world and then it'll enter so it'll go down a line and then whatever I put here will be below. So I want to say how many times would you like me to say hello all right space there and we'll put just that so we that's where we'll actually um, write to all right and then we're going to do the end line so these are actually connected that's how I was able to just do this without the C out it's because I never ended the line over here I just ended it over here all right so now we want to see in how many times so for us to do that we have to have an integer because we're actually going to have a number. So, and well, sorry, I'm going to name it ants. So, so for us to do that, I just said there's an integer named ants somewhere, but I haven't clarified yet. So I'm going to do an int ants. All right. So that has been clarified that this exists. So now it should go there, and you should be able to respond. 
Now for this one, I think I'm going to do a for loop. I'm going to do for. Now I'm going to classify another integer as i. You can call it whatever you want. Um, I tend to call it i or ants or num, just short so it's easy to type, is equal to 0. Okay, so right off the bat, we're going to do an inline. We're going to keep inside here, and we're going to say that, that i is always going to be less than answer in line. So that means, because it always, in programming, zero, it actually starts with zero. Zero is like a number, so it actually counts zero. It doesn't go right to one, it goes from zero. So you want it to be less. So now I got i, and then two pluses to let it know that each time that it cycles through, that it will, um, it will go higher. So with the first time through, then I will be equal to 1, the second time through, so on and so forth, 2, you know, 3. So inside here, I want to see out, and I'm going to do hello. All right. So now that I have that in the end line, it should be able to ask us, and then if we say three times, it should spit out three hellos. So we'll give it a shot and see what happens. All right. Hello world, how many times would you like to say hello? So let's say three, and it worked. So we got hello, 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 hello. But here's the problem though, is they're all smashed together. So I'm going to show you what that backslash n does for us, okay? So now that we're in this again, I'm going to do a backslash n right, right there. And this should make it go down a line every time we say. So let's say four this time. So I type in four, and boom. All four hellos are there, and they're down. All right. That's the end of my tutorial. I will, in my next video, be working on this a little further. Um, I think I'll put a while loop in there and some other stuff. Um, hope to see you guys next time. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any, um, if you want to look up libraries or any kind of information, you can also go to ftechtea.com. Um, ftech com and if you go there um, I have a whole bunch of pretty much just text you can look up um, certain ways of doing stuff um, hope to see you next time thank you very much